Okay, next up, uh, look at some inequality questions. Again, these should be useful for the paper for IGCSE uh, Cambridge exams. Uh, here's the first one. Um, we've got someone who sells some biscuits and cakes, X biscuits and Y cakes. She sells at least 100 biscuits. Write down an inequality in X. Okay, so at least means that the minimum she could possibly sell is 100. So this is our uh, inequality here. Make sure we've got the all equal to here. If you're not sure, then stick in a number. This is basically saying x must be greater than or equal to 100. Okay, that, that kind of makes sense there. I guess that's the first one. Uh, the next one, she sells at least 120 cakes. Okay, that's pretty similar. There we go. So y must be greater than or equal to 120. Um, she sells a maximum of 300 biscuits all together. Okay, so therefore, the number of biscuits and the number of cakes that she sells the maximum so therefore it's less than or equal to 300. So that's the third one. Then the fourth one she makes a profit of 40 cents on each biscuit and 80 cents on each cake. Pro total profit is at least 160 dollars. Okay so once again just notice we've got cents and dollars here so we need to make either everything into cents or everything into dollars. So let's make everything into cents. So 40 times by the number of cakes, that's how much she's going to make for the cakes. 80 times by y, that's how much she's going to make. So for the for 40 times x is how much she's going to make on the biscuits. 80 times y is how much she's going to make on the cakes. And at least $160, so it must be greater than or equal to. And I've just converted $160 into cents by times you buy 100. So that is my inequality. And there we go. If I just divide everything by 40, I do get x plus 2y greater than or equal to 400. So there's my four inequalities. Okay, the next thing, uh, it says draw the four lines to show the inequalities and then shade the unwanted region. Okay, so read the question carefully. It's normally going to be unwanted region that we shade. First one, x greater than or equal to 100. Step number one. Draw the line x equal to 100. Okay, I don't want the bit where x is less than 100, so I'm going to shade in this side here. If there was no or equal to, I would draw in a dotted line here. But this is or equal to, so I have the solid line. So that's the first one. Second one, uh, y greater than or equal to 120. Draw my line for y equals 120, which is this line here. Again, I don't want less than 120, so I'm going to shade in uh, the bottom part. Okay, the third one. Um, okay, so this time here, I've got um, x plus y less than or equal to 300. So step number one is actually to draw the line x plus y equal to 300. Now, if I draw the line x plus y equal to 300, just choose some values. On this, let's just write that out so you can see. This is the line that I'm trying to plot, x plus y equal to 300. Uh, choose a value, to, for example, when x is 0, therefore y must be 300. That gives me the first coordinate here, when x is 0, y is 300. And equally, when y is 0, then x must be 300. So when y is 0, x is 300. So that gives me two easy points that I can plot. So there we go, so I plot the point 0, 300, and I plot the point 300, 0. That gives me this line here. And then I need to decide which side I, I, I want and which side I don't want. Um, so choose a point. So I'm going to choose 0, 0. So there's my point here. This is not on the line, so I can choose any point that's not on, on the line that I've just drawn. And then I see what happens when I put these values in. So is 0 plus 0, is that less than or equal to 300? Okay, yes. Okay, so 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 300. So I want the side that includes 0, 0. So I want this side of the line. Therefore, I don't want the other side of the line. So I'm going to shade in the opposite side of the line like that. Okay, and then have a look at one more. Um, this one here, so same as before. I'm trying to plot the uh, line x plus 2y greater than or equal to 400. 
and then as same as before I'm going to put the line x plus 2y equal to 400 same as before I choose some points for example when x is 0 I'm going to get y is equal to 200 and when y is 0 I'm going to get x is 400 okay, so once I've got that I then plot those two points there so that's my first point 0 200 that's my point uh, 400 0 join the points up as before choose a point not on the line so I choose 0 0 again and then stick it into the inequality so is 0 plus 2 times 0 greater than or equal to 400 okay that's false therefore I don't want the side that includes 0 0 so here's my here's the line so I shade in the side that I don't want so I shade in all of that like that and then what I'm left with is this little region this little region here it's going to be that bit there okay so this bit marked with an R is my answer okay let's just have a look at a couple more kind of questions um, just to do with line graphs the first one is this one uh, it says calculate, uh, this just means the length of AB, they're, they're, they're written like this to show that they've, they're thinking of it in a vector form, um, and then just the length of this vector. Okay, so don't be intimidated by the um, notation. Okay, just do a little sketch, this is the point minus 1, uh, so minus 2, minus 1, this is the point 6, 3, and basically all I'm doing is finding the length of this line. I just want to find the, the length of the line, so I've got a distance across of 8 and a distance up of 4. I'm just going to use Pythagoras 8 squared plus 4 squared and then square root it 8.94. So a lot of these questions if you can just do a little sketch it makes it uh, much easier to see what's happening. Okay uh, next question. Uh, question here we were given two points um, we're going to use them uh, a bit later. Um, we're basically given what the equation of line AB is we're given the equation of line BC, and we're told that B is when the two lines intersect, and we need to find the coordinates of the point B. Actually, there's more information than we need for this. Literally, all we're trying to do is to try and find when these two lines intersect. When these two lines intersect, we will find the coordinate of B. Okay, so at the moment, the first one is written in a form that's not usual. It's a straight line. So... Let's just rewrite it so it is written in the normal form. So y equals 14 minus 4x or minus 4x plus 14. Okay, but we've now got it written with y on its own like this. So those are the two equations, the lines that we've got. When they intersect, well, when they intersect, the x values are the same, the y values are the same. So if the y values are the same, then basically 14 minus 4x must be the same as x minus 1 because the y value is the same so I can just replace 14 minus 4x and replace the y here with that okay so basically what I'm doing is I'm solving this equation here okay so when 14 minus 4x is replaced replace that y there then I've now got a new equation and that's what I need to solve okay so I solve that and I get x is 3 and then how do I find out what y is well, if x is 3, then I stick x is 3 back into one of the equations. doesn't matter which one. When x is 3, then y is going to be 2. Therefore, my coordinates are 3, 2. Okay, uh, part B on the same question. Um, it says m is the midpoint of AC. Uh, it might kind of be useful to do a little sketch. You don't need to. Um, so this is the point 0.26, this is the point 0.54, so you can see this is the line that I've got here. The midpoint is halfway between the two points. So if you think of it like this, you can think, well, what's halfway between 2 and 5? Well, that's 3.5. What's halfway between 4 and 6? Sorry, so halfway between 4 and 6 is 5, halfway between 2 and 5 is yeah, 3.5. So therefore, that is the midpoint. So basically do the middle of the two x coordinates and the middle of the two y coordinates. Okay, and then the last one, part C, says find the equation of the line BM. Okay, so 
we're kind of all following through from the different previous questions. So uh, the point B was 3, 2. We worked that out on this question here. So there was the point 3, 2. And then we've also worked out that the coordinate M was 3.5 and 5. So again, do a little sketch. There we go. We've got the point 3, 2. And we've got the point 3.55. And we're basically trying to find the equation of the line that joins up the two. Okay, so to find the equation of a line, we need to find the gradient and uh, the y-intercept. Step number one, let's find the gradient. Well, we've gone across by 0 0.5 and up by 3. So 3 divided by 0 0.5 is going to be 6. That's going to tell me what the gradient is. Remember, it's sloping upwards, so it's positive. So therefore, it's going to be y equals 6x plus something. How do you find out what that plus c is? Okay, sub in some value. We know that when x is 3, y is 2 from, from this information here. So therefore, y is 2, x is 3. So 2 equals 6 times 3 plus c. What value of c is going to make that correct? 2 equals 18 plus something. So therefore, c is minus 16. Okay, so therefore, the final answer, if we write it down, is going to be uh, y equals 6x minus 16 like that. Okay, um, so just worth pointing out at this point, like if, for example, you didn't know how to do parts of this question, you could just make up an answer and then use that answer uh, in the subsequent part and then still get the follow-through marks. So it's quite important that you do that. Okay, so there we go. A few questions all to do with line graphs and inequality.